Hi folks, Brian Barton, Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Uh, I'm a smallmouth bass guide and catfish guide here on Wilson Lake. Uh, today we're up here in October and we're drifting the Wheeler Dam tail race for smallmouth bass. I just want to take just a moment to show you what we're rigging with. I'm using an eight foot B&M float and fly rod. Uh, I have a spinning reel attached to that with eight pound vicious mono. I like this bright green line. Uh, when you're drifting out here, you want to kind of keep your line tight, and a lot of times just a little twitch may be an indication you got a bite. So I like this high visibility line, and it's a real simple rig. I'm just using a number two true turn hook and come up above it about 15, 16 inches and put a split shot. Now the split shot can vary depending on the current. You might use as a small amount as a 16th all the way up to a one ounce. This one here is about a quarter ounce. But uh, the weight will change with the current and the conditions the rest of the rig stays the same. It's uh, real simple. Uh, we just throw out, get out in the current, start a drift, try to throw the bait out into a seam where two balls come together and you just click the bail and float and wait till the fish bite. It's a really fun way to catch smallmouth bass. Show us how you're baiting and what you're baiting with. Okay. Today we're using a thread fin and gizzard shad. I collect these here on the lake with a throw net and uh, get one out here. This one here is a typical, that's about a three inch gizzard shad. And what I do is just take him and I hook him right through the bottom lip and come out his nostril. You just want to barely nose hook him. That way he's streamlined in the current, he can swim with the current and he's going to stay alive. If you hook him through the eyeballs, you're going to kill the shad. So lip hook him and you're ready to go. Tell us how you set the hook. Uh, you want to be real easy with the hook. These rods are limber, but you'll, uh, you'll see the line tighten up or you'll feel it. I like to hold the rod at about a 10 o'clock position and let it get about a quarter bend. Let it get firm so you can feel the fish and just make an upward sweep or a side sweep and they're real easy to catch. These Daiichi hooks are really sharp. 